just back. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the THO-18 hand cannon for Studio Series 54 Megatron. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the uh, packaging. It's the brown box. Hooray for brown boxes. Open it up. Inside is baggy. Bye-bye box. Open up baggy. Open up baggy. Open up baggy. <laughs> I really can't get it. Before I was playing, now it's serious. <laughs> Open up the baggy. <laughs> Dump out the parts. Get out. Bye bye baggy. And that's it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the hand cannon for Studio Series 54 Megatron. Yes, this gives him the weapon that everybody felt uh, the figure was uh, missing. But yeah, you get his little hand cannon here. So, we'll just run through all the parts. Here we have the main cannon piece. And all this, of course, is 3D printed, but actually looks pretty nicely done. As you can see, it's painted in a nice... Silver, a little, little bit of paint got scratched off because this connection is a little too tight, but we'll show that off. We'll show all that off a little bit later, but oh no, pretty nice detail going on there. Looks quite, quite nice. And there we have this little, uh, little barrel piece right here. And you also get the extended barrel piece. And one thing that's cool is that these two pieces are done in a gunmetal gray. So you can see there's a nice little contrast there in the colors. Some may like that, some may not. I think it looks quite nice. And you also get this connector piece so he can do the double hand cannon gimmick. So uh, unfortunately, this is not painted. I don't know why this was not painted, but I mean, if worse comes to worse, you can paint it yourself or, you know, I, I may just take a silver Sharpie to it, honestly, and just call it a day, but hey, you can do whatever you want, but you get that as well. So let's show off how all of this works. So here we have mags, and now let's show off how this stuff works here. So we're going to take the cannon here. We're going to use uh, this bit here, and that will just plug in. That plugs in nice and snug. So we have that going on. And all that's going to happen here is we're just going to fold his hand in, and uh, this right here is just going to plug into that opening right there. And it is a bit tight. And it will probably scrape a little bit of paint off, as you can see, but, you know, it goes on there. It's snug, but it works, and it goes right in, and there you go. You guys hand cannon. As you can see, the silver that they used to paint this isn't as shiny as the silver on the figure, but still looks pretty good. So you can do that. You can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, so you can do that if you want to. Now, if you want to do the two-handed blaster, uh, that's where... This piece comes into play, so now we flip up both of his hands. Now, according to the pictures, um, this piece is supposed to slot in like this, sideways. You can see there are even little slots in there. And um, these tabs were way too thick, and I had to just, I had to shave them down to get them to fit, because um, they just did not want to plug in at all. And uh, so they just slot in. Like that, it's still a little bit too tight. I'm gonna have to shave off a little bit more, but you can see how that works. And you do want it to be oriented like this with this angled piece on the bottom. That is the proper orientation. If you do it the other way, it doesn't work. So just do that and then just bring his arms together and then get the other side, slot it in like so. And then when we take gun here, we remove this bit, and we replace it with the extended barrel. And that just plugs right in, like so. You can see it's just a big square tab slot right there. And that will just plug in, like so. And there you go. And now you can uh, straighten out his arms a bit more, but when you do that, you flex those those tabs upward a bit so you don't want to go too far because you don't want to risk breaking anything but you can kind of get his arms to sit a little bit straighter not totally straight but 
a little bit straighter just to make it look a little bit better. And there you go. You can get a really good pose out of them there. And now Megatron will make you join them in extinction! Now, can it store in the jet mode? Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The pictures don't show any uh, alt mode storage. Uh, you know, you just gotta sit it up there. That looks kind of cool. I don't know, but uh, I don't see anywhere for it to actually like plug in or anything. It just, I mean, granted, there's a lot of empty space in here. I guess you can just kind of chuck it in there while you're transforming it. It should fit. I don't know. One thing I just noticed though, which I think would have been uh, pretty cool, is that there is this this little, uh, you know, this little, you know, little panel right here, little panel section. It's just you know, a little support piece. But if they had like just left like a little open notch like right there in this bit you could have just taken it and just kind of frictioned it frictioned it on right there and have it sitting like that that would have been kind of cool granted you could just do that yourself with some tools just kind of put a notch in that you know that that could work hey eh? the thing you could do if you wanted to do it a little bit of modification you could do to kind of make that work i don't know but like i said it doesn't seem like there's anywhere for it officially to store Seems like it's purely a robot mode thing, but hey, you can figure something out if you want to figure something out. So, there you go. So there you have the hand cannon for Studio Series 54 mags, and yes, yeah, a nicely done piece. You know, looks good. It integrates pretty well. You may have to do a little bit of modding to get it to work for the uh, for the double hand cannon gimmick, but all in all. Nicely done little piece. I am quite pleased with it. So there you go. Now you can pick this up from TF Safari. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the THO18 Hand Cannon for Studio Series 54 Megatron. And this is Evan Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek, be proud. Home in your face.